for the longest time it was doctors, nurses, other highly trained individuals. But now hospitals are struggling to recruit aides, technicians, assistants, and really anyone that might work at the hospital. With Texas being one of the fastest growing states in the country, the need for high quality healthcare has never been greater. Yet staffing shortages have challenged the ability of hospitals to meet this demand. 64% of hospitals reported that they're having to cut back on the services that they offer. And at the same time, there are more older Texans than ever and more sick Texans. Texas hospitals have seen the most severe shortage in registered nurses, with the RN vacancy rate increasing by over 11% since 2019. While nurses leaving the profession during COVID-19 had a large impact, there are many other factors contributing to this spike. Nursing schools in Texas are turning away thousands of qualified applicants because they simply don't have the resources to educate them. The Texas legislature addressed these shortages in the 2023 legislative session with the passage of Senate Bill 25, which funded nursing scholarships and expanded eligibility for the Nurse Faculty Loan Repayment Program. Lawmakers also provided key funding increases for the Nursing Shortage Reduction Program and the Loan Repayment Program for mental health professionals, and funded the new Rural Residency Grant Program. THA is going to be working to maintain the progress and momentum from last session. We want to ensure that the programs that were funded two years ago are funded this time around. We also want to use data to show that hospitals continue to face workforce challenges.